Hello there, Adi Vermont here. Couldn't do it on my computer because I don't have it with me right now. But right now we could do it all fine. So it will work. So a little more about the Roman Empire. First, let's see where what where the Roman Empire is. Now, now this is a good square if you want to see most of the Roman Empire. So the Roman Empire, it went for about Spain, all the way to Turkey, and it's not even an empire yet; it was a republic, but. The Republic lasted longer than the Kingdom North and the Empire. Now first let's talk a little about about ha about what these three men, Julius Caesar, Crassus, and Pompey were doing. Now they now those guys were going so Pompey got got Rome because he spent most of his time in Rome. Bro. Now let's not go too much into the Rome. Otherwise, we'll see highways and airports which weren't there. Then we have Fran. Then we have Julius Caesar going into France or Gaul. It's, it's It was called Gaul back then, but right now it's modern-day France. Let's not go too much in so we don't see the airports. And all the way n here, near about Lebanon or so, we have... Well, there. We have Crassus. Now, Crassus was the oldest over them. Pompey was the second oldest, and Julius Caesar was the youngest. Now, now they actually covered some of Switzerland. Not far from the Rubicon. Let's see if we can find the Rubicon. Can't find it, okay. So then there's a lot of tension going. Crassus died in battle with the with the Parthians. Uh, here about much, mainly the Persian Gulf was their main base of attacking or where their most powerful navy was equipped. But they also made some clashes with Rome, and they also invaded Rome sometimes, but, oops. Let's not go there. Yeah, so they invaded Rome sometimes. So Pompey... So, Crassus died. Over here, when battling the Parthians in Lebanon. So, over here in Lebanon. He died. So, Pompey just ditched Caesar out and joined the other side. So, Pompey then became the most powerful force in Rome. But then, but, but already, Caesar was in Paris. I meant not Paris, oh my gosh. He was in Gaul or France. It wasn't called France at the time, it was called Gaul. But he was in modern day France. And let's say about modern day Orleans, if that's how you pronounce it. Nah. Now let's go all the way back to Italy. So when Pompey heard the news that Caesar was coming home with his army, he he just immediately put all of these, his soldiers apart and sent him to 
mil to Milan or Milan. Italy, which is not far from the Rubicon. So, so when they did that, he fled to Greece. Not Macedonia, Greece. Now Greece was in a was a Roman province at that at the time. So he escaped to what's now Sparta. Doesn't show it here for some reason. But he fled over here. So then so then Caesar crossed the Ionian Sea. Then Pompey sailed sailed down to Alexandria. Now this is where it gets even more in interesting. And here's Alexandria, if you don't see it on the map. Before this video, I was searching where the castle palace is, but can't seem to be found. So... Okay, so he fled to Alexandria, where he was killed by Ptolemy. Now C Caesar was forgiving for his enemies, but Pompey, but sorry, but Ptolemy wasn't that much of a fond of Caesar. Caesar wanted him to settle down and be thankful that he's actually that he's already a ruler. But he, but instead, for Caesar to keep like quieting him down, he, he started planning attacks. Now Caesar was already in Greece by the time, by the time he already had r ran away to Greece, so he was at these. Can, he was at this island over here, in Crete spelled differently in Greek. So he escaped at Crete. By the time he but 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 by the time he reached Crete, Alexander I mean Ptolemy was already getting ready to leave for the ship. So Caesar planned his army there. And it was Roman territory, so they were safe. So now now, now this became a pretty bad attack near the ocean. So, second. So he fled back to Greece. During the during the long way, so Pompey wouldn't find him, going very near the edges and stopping in Jerusalem. So going on that, say Israel Route Four or Two or Twenty, then going on Lebanon uh, Route Twenty Two. It wasn't like there, it wasn't there actually, but. Going there and then coming here. Here's Greece. Going all the way from Croatia back to Rome. Now he didn't cross the Rubicon because he was going from Croatia, I guess. But Pompey was already killed. So, he started planning battles against Ptolemy. They fought and fought until Ptolemy was finally, well, not technically killed. He was forced on a small boat, and, and they watched it flow away. And that's the end of Ptolemy. And there's um, America. Okay. Now 
now back here. Italy. Adriatic Sea. There were battles. And then he, he finally joined forces with Cleopatra. Now Ptolemy, by the time of the battle, he was only 16 and Cleopatra, Cleopatra was only about 22 or so and she didn't fight. Now, people must say that Tommy wasn't uh, that much of a good kid. Julius Caesar was right to sign, silence him and stuff. Now, meanwhile, Alexandria. He kept fight. They joined forces. And, and had a son named Caesarion, who then became a powerful general. But he, but when Caesar returned to Rome, but when Caesar returned to Rome, he got murdered by senators. But that's not the end of the story, and that's not the end of the Roman Republic either. It wasn't even an empire yet, so Rome didn't fall then. Then, uh, then four leaders came: Octavian, Caesar, Caesar's adopted son who was about the age of Ptolemy when Caesar died. We have Mark Antony, one of Caesar's generals in Gaul. We have Lepidus, who did the political form as a consul. And we have Caesarion, Caesar's son. Now, Caesarion didn't come into late until the late places, but Mark Antony and Lepidus and Octavian, those guys over there, kept the empire unstable. Now, Julius Caesar was declared dictator first. So then, as Ma some history says, Rome was mainly run by Mark Antony. So. Mainly, they say that Mark Antony was the second dictator of Rome. So, Mark Antony got the most land. He got the east, starting getting the southern, southern of the Italian peninsula, but didn't get Rome. Got some of the Africa part and got all the places extending all the way to Lebanon, and Jerusalem. Now this didn't quite split the empire in half. If they did so, someone would break away and make another empire. Which tried to happen, but we'll discuss that in another video. So they get fleeing, or fleeing back and forth. And they finally met in Rome, which ma which made Octavian a little powerful, cause he got this, he got the western side, which contained Rome. But that didn't make him the all powerful guy. He and Octavian, I meant Octavian and Mark Antony, both act, act as tribunes, which were basically presidents, like presidents of the United States. But the real dictator here was Mark Antony at the moment. But then Mark Antony lost a little bit of power. But by the time he lost power, Caesarion was ready to go and at least about 20 years old or so. Octavian was 30 and Mark Antony was already in his 50s. Lepidus was already in his 60s. So, Mark Antony and Lepidus were already pretty old. So, Caesarion didn't quite make a good first move. 
right from the start, he started attacking... He started attacking parts of Octavian. Now, before Caesar already made Egypt, the Egyptian Empire, this line that I'm drawing over here in Egypt, this imaginary line here, then covers here and goes up a little bit there. Now that was Egypt. They made Egypt like not a part of the Roman province, but had legislatures. So that means Roman citizens migrated all the way to Egypt. Started practicing their own religion there. So, he started raiding battles, including on Rome. Now, this made everybody, including Mark Antony, bad. Worse. But Mark Antony wasn't as mad as Lepidus, Octavian, and Caesarion. Mark Antony well, already made a, already had three sons, with, which were still not little kids. They were like ten and eleven, or nine, eight. So they didn't care that much. They stayed with Cleopatra, but by the time. Mark Antony and Cleopatra killed themselves, which is for no reason a good thing today. That would be suicide. Won't do that. Don't, wouldn't want to do that. And Octavian also thought that was a nasty habit too, to commit suicide. And yes, he was right. It was bad. Now, now Caesarion here was now in his 30s and already gaining land. Then he was already named third dictator of Rome. He was also a dictator before um, because he got all of that land after Mark Antony died in about 20, in, so in about 29 BC. So he was named third dictator of Rome. Now Lepidus, who was still in his reign, who was still consul, said that that an empire's rising in Octavian is up to no good. So Octavian killed Caesarion, which made Lepidus the dictator in about 27 BCE, and made changed his name to Augustus, and became the first Roman emperor. emperor. Now, here to end this video for a little while. Well, not a little while. But here to end this video, we have here. Let's see. We have... Lepidus, who was completely declining his reign. So his reign was slowly declining, slowly going down. And then by, by say, 24 BCE, he had not, his reign as fourth dictator of Rome had ended. So most of, mostly the dictators Were, and Octavian served as, as a dictator for only about a couple months. So he, as dictator, went from at least 20, 27 BCE, 27 BCE, February to 27 BCE, December. So... And Crassus and Pompey also became some dictators. So let's see the line of dictators of Rome. We have 
we have Crassus, who took a big role in what's now Lebanon and Israel. We have Pompey, who made a great force on the Italian peninsula. We have Julius Caesar, who conquered most of Gaul. Pompey also conquered some of Spain, but that's not really important. So, Crassus, no, Crassus was first dictator. Julius Caesar was second dictator. Oh, I meant Pompey was second dictator. Julius Caesar was third dictator. Then came Mark Antony as dictator. Oh. Then we had Caesarion as dictator. Then we have Lepidus dictator. Finally, we have Octavian as dictator. Yep, he made an impact in North Italy. So let's focus on there. So the order was Crassus, Pompey, Caesar, um, Antony, Caesarion, Lepidus, Octavian. And looks like that's it for now. Thanks for watching and the next history videos will come up on the computer.